So here we have the Mercedes-Benz SUV that we looked at before during our hangout. V8, bi-turbo, signal lights here. Set the racks on top. And I step the wheels. Quite interesting that they don't have the name of the model of this car written on it at all. It says AMG everywhere, but I can tell you what model it is. All right, ten out there. Start from the back seat. Whew! Not much room back there at all. Hopefully we can move the seat up. Let's move the seat up, because that, that looks a little scary. A little scary for me, man. So yeah, this seat looks like it's pushed all the way back. Seat controls are in the door. So there we go. Okay, that looks like it's reasonable. We don't, we don't want to crush the, the driver. So let's see how much space we have in the back here. So now slide right in. Oh yeah, this is. This is nice and comfortable. Got the nice swells in the door here, so I got lots of leg room. I'm actually slouched back a little bit. I'll tell you one thing. It's nice that the, the, the seats are like this, so you have more room for your knees. But you want to make sure this actually works out for you because this is, this is really hard. So if your knee touches this, wow, this is really uncomfortable. Like my knee just pressing on this lightly, that's killer. So if you're, I don't know what the limits are, seven feet tall or whatever, if you hit this thing and you're sitting in the back seat, so if you're, if you're, uh, I don't know, if you're going to be driving, if you're dri driving around like basketball players or something, <laughs> I don't know, for some reason you got seven foot tall plus people in here on a regular basis, you might, might want to rethink this car. Uh, this is a nice little accent here. I like the stitching. Pretty cool. Got a little storage down there. Speakers here, little lights up here, that's nice. And handles for if I'm driving. And a nice big, look at this, this is nice. Wow, in the back, huh? Look at that, and then you can, uh, I guess it's all electronically controlled. There's a light back there. Is there some kind of control back here for this? No. There's some storage. 12 volt down here. Your vents. And AMG, in case you forget. AMG, in case you forget. Looks like a lot of storage in the back. 12 volt over there on the left hand side for your uh, tailgate party. All right, let's push, pull this down. Cup holders. I'm not sure what the purpose of this thing is. Oh, this is this this is the headrest back here. Interesting. So can this be opened? It looks like there's something in here. There's a panel in here. But how do you access it? I'm not sure, and I'm not gonna fool around with this thing. I spent half my video trying to figure out how to move this thing. What's in the back here? So you got this for privacy. That's nice. So you can cover your luggage. Might be a spare tire under there, I'm not sure. Probably a manual. Alright. Let's look at the front from the back. Nice, nice, nice. Looks very spacious up there. Very, very inviting. Oh no, I got the chow, 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 uh, restraints or whatever. I'm locked in! Oh, great. Nice, somebody put the child locks on there. Let's close this. I'm trapped! <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that off. I guess whoever had this car had a child. There you go. 
I haven't adjusted this thing in let's see 20 years I guess that does it yeah that's it all right that won't be happening again front seat nice accent here on the door contrasting stitching front I keep wanting to say mirrors all the time I don't know why I keep wanting to do that today front windows windows not mirrors rear windows lockout I'm not sure what this does this might be might be some random button that does something that I don't know about uh, so we have some storage here got a nice step here so you can step up onto this high vehicle some kind of controls for the seats here I'm not sure what that is but we have these controls here so I don't know why that's there there's your light just like on a Porsche Take a look at the seat. Contrasting stitching, AMG logo. Whew, that looks so comfortable. Let's have a seat. Oh yeah. So I got the uh, controls for the seat here. Push the seat back. See how much leg room we can get. As you guys see my dusty shoes that I need to polish. So busy, man. So many things to do. So here we are. So my knee, my legs can almost be fully extended in this car. Pretty nice. Now in a driving position, kind of dead pedal situation. Braking, traffic, whatever. To where the knee goes. Wow. I have to kind of stretch my knee just to forcefully make contact with this piece here. So that's pretty nice. There's a lot of room from left to right in this car like the way I can stretch my knees out I again I have to forcefully make contact there's so much room that I, I can't I'm not going to naturally touch the sides here so this is how I'm going to sit naturally without any contact here on the side that's pretty nice and if I'm cruising long distance driving I like this this works so here's the weird position where your foot's in a weird position you got weird pressure on your on your shoes or whatever um, but the seat is high enough or however this is set up where I feel comfortable sitting like this where that pedal and I got my foot here in an emergency I can quickly you know because you don't want to do this that's a bad idea because then you got to push your foot up and it gets stuck in an emergency you will have your foot in front of the pedal so I would sit, sit like this probably and there's a lot of room in here where I can I can do like this and I not have to worry about my knee touching the steering wheel so that's pretty cool so very, very, very uh, impressed with the amount of space in here. The seats are very comfortable. Get the paddle shifters, shift down, shift up. Controls, stereo, the phone, airbag. It goes over 200 miles per hour. Right. Looks like the wiper controls over there. Oh, that's interesting old-fashioned just like back in the days man you got the this steering column controls for the shifting reverse neutral park wow so there it is right there interesting push to start all right radio navi telephone disc i guess you can mute the speakers that's nice when the cop pulls you over you can quickly mute everything there's a volume control Hazard lights, traction control. This is a kind of econ economical mode, maybe to save on gas. The air conditioning looks like something out of a really cheap car, like a, um, a Geo Metro or something. <laughs> this looks really, really cheap. Like it's like cheap plastic. Look at look at the, it's even like moving around. See that? Like me pushing on this, the outer silver ring moves separately from the inner ring. So this is really kind of detracts from the whole experience. I mean, you have this nice luxurious SUV and you got this in here. So for some people that's going to be, uh, you know, oh, I, I can't stand that. For me, I can deal with it. It's not that big of a deal, but it is kind of a cheap feeling thing in the car. Got some storage in here. No, oh, we don't want to see that. 
got the cup holders with some nice supports for the cups. Nice, nice. This closes. The entire thing closes. Nice, nice. Someone needs to dust in here. Or is that just look of it? Well, that's the, that's the, whatever this material is. Okay, it looks like it's dirty. Wow. So I'm not necessarily liking that look. Some storage here. Put the Oakleys in here. And this will open the, uh, this will open the sunroof. Maybe I have to turn the car on, I guess. It doesn't work with the engine off. Got a huge visor. The mirror and the light. The light is actually on the roof, which, which is unique. I've never seen that before. And then here's your mirror. Roadside assistance. Alright. Let's look at how much glove compartment. Oh, wow. Uh, so it doesn't come with a glove box. <laughs> Basically. There's no storage in there at all. Here's a door from further away. Here's a look from the front to the back. I like the look of these seats. I don't know. I like. I like. I just. I don't know what it is, but I, I just like the style. The way these seats look, they look very, very nice. I, I like it. The stitching and also the these like how whatever you call these the ripples, whatever. I'm not into this stuff, man. I'm not into seats and and cloth and materials and whatever I appreciate them but I don't know anything about that stuff all right so I'm very impressed with this this is a this is a very it looks like a very nice comfortable luxurious car lots of room um, lots of room for your legs in the back seat I just don't like this material here this is kind of cheap and um, it is an SUV I'm not an SUV guy but if I was gonna buy an SUV you know, and I was looking to buy a Mercedes-Benz SUV. I might want to consider this one. But uh, I'm not exactly a Mercedes-Benz fan. Um, I respect Mercedes-Benz. I respect what they are able to do with luxurious cars and things like that. But uh, I'm not exactly a Mercedes-Benz customer. But that doesn't mean I cannot appreciate that this SUV is really nice. And I know a lot of people will love this car. All right. On that note, on that note, V8 by Turbo, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. I'm going to show you how a clutch works. Marucho Lamborghini was born in a Lamborghini. If you love cars the way I love cars, then you're probably going to want to click on that subscribe button. I'm going to show you how a clutch works. Marucho Lamborghini was born in Lamborghini. If you love cars the way I love cars, then you're probably going to want to click on that subscribe button.